Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Tway here and uh, this will be a video on, well, soul weapons. And guess what? I'm going over just about anything that I could find about soul weapons. So let's go over whatever I know. Now there's only been a few teasers and whatever, but there are some things that do come to mind. Now let's start off with something that was shown on April 16th onto the development plan on uh, what they're actually going to do with it. So they said something about class buff system, which they implemented, the reduce the number of repeat implemented, difficulty decrease implemented, ferry system, which is now the dispatch system implemented, guild war implemented, uh, some summer season events, some mini games, whatever, hero customization implemented, housing system, this is still yet to come living weapons and now this becomes interesting because this seems to be the thing that they're referring to as soul weapons and basically what they're saying is easy way to upgrade systems like uh, they didn't want to go over like getting higher than level 90 and instead they wanted to add like a system and what they said is like okay everybody has this oh unique weapons story skills and whatever and how good would it be if you can attach your heroes to more now, the raiders will be able to acquire living weapons uh, via traveling to new areas, exploring the stories, defeating powerful bosses. Now, keep this in mind. Defeating powerful bosses. Hunting huge bosses with all raiders. With all raiders throughout the server. We are currently developing content which will be helpful in making a hero more unique. So yeah, basically, uh, there's a few things that they're adding. Like, okay, we're adding more unique qualities. So would it be similar to whenever they release the unique treasures, for instance? Which made some of the characters really, really insane. Think about Annette, think about Jane, think about just about any like heavy damage dealer. Like Cecilia on her unique treasures, absolutely insane, right? But... I'm feeling that they will add unique qualities to these living weapons. What they will be, I'm not sure yet, but let's go over to the very first video that they released onto what they transferred from living weapons to actual soul weapons. So let's get it popping. Breakthrough! Now they're adding like a few of the characters. Now, at first, I wasn't quite sure if they're just gonna do each of these characters shown into the video because that would be sad to me because the only characters that I do want at this point would be Lias and well look at this the god has come they are actually announcing the name itself now this implies another thing could he be the new NPC hero that will be coming out at some point and I think with a very high percentage, with the patch, Kane will be coming out as well. But this is me hoping because I want to make him, right? So that, that is something uh, that could be, uh, that is still in the woodworks. So first thought would be like, are they only going to release the characters shown into the video? So the only ones that are shown are Shamila, Ricardo, uh, Mora uh, Lucius, which is obviously one of my top tier picks on this. Uh, Elias and Mora. Now, I'm going to be answering that question within a little bit. So, after this, they actually gave ourselves some new teasers. Now, the teaser awakening, blah, blah, blah. So, this was the second thing. This seems to be like a new region. Maybe onto uh, episode 6, like... Uh, they will implement this through the whole repository, but I'm not quite sure yet. Now, what this basically shows is three, three doors, right? And it kind of has the same vibe as uh, Labyrinth, for instance. And these are the new three bosses probably added into that. Because as you can see, the Leo type on the left, we got what I would call Horus on the middle part, and we got the lizard guy on the very right. So I'm assuming these are bosses that you can actually kill. Then whatever this is, it seems to be 
uh, like combined with the chapter 9.5 hell whenever Kazel turned dark and just kicked the whole team out of his castle. So the bigger question would be, what are these two? Like, would they be new challenge raids? Would they be new world bosses? I don't know, because these things, they do not make any sense. And I gotta say, this whole teaser looks ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Now, they have a second teaser and this will imply the second part of it. So without further ado, let's get into that. Cain, big lonely room, throne. Purple eyes, looking good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. Now, now let's let's freeze this up. Now, this is one of the reasons why I say there will only be very few of these characters released, but it could still be a 50-50 because on the left, the second one is the Shamila one. Now, the one over here looks more like claws. It doesn't have the flag that they introduced with Lucius. So this is strange. Now the water fairy kind of like has a similarity to Lilia. And whoever this lady may be, I'm not even quite sure. But this is one of them that has not been shown yet. Same for this one. So there, there are like a few question marks. Right? Are they only going to release like the, the characters that they showed into the first video? I think not. I think judging by this, they will be releasing all characters. I could be wrong. So yeah, Theo, our, our, team, <laughs> our team up there coming this December. So this kind of concludes whatever we're looking at, right? When it comes to the soul weapons, Are, am I prepared? Yes. Yes, I got the Vaseline and everything. Like, oh my, oh my word. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. But I'm hoping for two things. One of them came coming out. Two of them uh, would be a total standalone living weapon, awakening weapon part onto the game. Because there has been a debate like, oh, do you need to have your units five-starred to make sure to get the living weapon? Which obviously, like, it seems like, oh, you got it maxed out. Now you can awaken, which is which is smart. But that would only be for a very low percentage of the players that are possible. And in terms of business, that doesn't seem smart. Because if you want to attract new players, you got to make it appealing to new players and it's not like you want to add content which is like oh yeah you can play this after two years that makes no sense so i'm hoping for it to be a standalone feature so that you can start it off with everything possible now just to show one more thing which i kind of forgot to address which is something definitely worth noting uh let me go to king's rate official thingy and let's put in so, okay, so on Korea, they actually added a event page. And what it shows is you will be getting a unique weapon ticket. We know that. You'll be getting rubies. We know that too. And guess what? We got ourselves a new ticket, apparently, to maybe get the upgrades. Hopefully. So I'm thinking it will be a very standalone complex of living weapons. Now, there's a few things that come into mind with looking at this part as well. I've recently started playing because my little brother, he actually plays uh, Summoner's War. And they have awakening systems as well for several of their heroes. And basically what it does is you have a set amount of challenges that you can do. Uh, certain bosses that you can beat. You need the, uh, the specific hero that you want to upgrade. And with that you need to uh, whack the bosses down. If you kill them you get a certain percentage up to 100. And if you get to 100% you'll be able to awaken 
a person. Now, question would be, would it be a similar system? Because honestly, mobile phone games, they're not new. Tower of Challenges added into every mobile phone game that I know. So question mark, would it be the same thing? But without further ado, no more speculation. It has been over 10 minutes of me rambling on teasers, right? Insane stuff. So if you guys have any thoughts about this, put them into the comments. I'd really like to know what you guys think. And for now, this is Twebby.